So we will be covering um, many methods related to forecasting, time series forecasting. The first one is moving average. Um, please pay attention to the first title, random variations with no trend, seasonal, or cyclical component. So when we are not assuming a trend or seasonal or cyclical components, at the time there are several methods that we can use. The first one is moving average. Moving average is the uh, uh, is just the taking of uh, average of multiple periods. It's a straightforward and conservative method. The formula is the average of the data included in periods. Here uh, is an example. If you are using three months moving average, you add up the three months past sales data and divide it by the number of months, in this case three. In this case, you can start to work on the forecasting from April because it is the earliest time you can have the three past months data available. So, um, you know, you, we have three months of data and uh, we put them here and divide by three. That gives you average of three months past data and that you are uh, moving average for three months. Uh, sometimes it could be four months of moving average instead of three months. So if it is a quarterly data and you can do that too. So depending on your um, number of periods, the moving average changes. Uh, the second method is weighted moving average. Simple moving average gives the same weight to the previous data. When you see that the previous period of data is more important and influencing, influencing factor, you can give more weights to the previous data. In that case, you can use weighted moving average. The formula for this method is the sum of weighted moving average at period and times, the demand in the corresponding period divided by the total weights. If we take a, an example here, say I want to give the weight of three to last month and uh, two to two months ago data and one to three months ago data, uh, reflecting that you know, last month's data receives more weights than uh, two months or three months data. And the total weights is six. So in that case, uh, three times 13, because we give the weight of three to the previous data, plus two times 12, plus one times 10, that is uh, your um, uh, nominator, and, and uh, 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 divided by the total number of weight, which is six here, and it gives you weighted moving average. And in the same way, you apply that uh, weight to uh, the next month and, and uh, the following months, then you are able to complete the uh, weighted moving average method. Again, you know, right now you use three months weighted moving average, but you could increase uh, the months to four or five or six, and the, the weight can change depending on the importance. These weights are based on your experience and intuition. It's not particularly given to you. So what, what percentage of importance are you going to give to the previous data, right? That's uh, uh, your decision. And uh, sometimes uh, you, you are going to just experiment and see which is working better. The third method uh, in dealing with random variations with no trend, no seasonal, and no cyclical component is exponential smoothing method. Um, here are four, uh, some problems with uh, 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 moving average method that we have just uh, discussed together. As you increase the number of periods, the forecasting becomes less sensitive to changes. Moving average also does not forecast trends very well. It also requires extensive historical data to maintain. To complement these issues with moving average, management scientists proposed better methods. One of them is exponential smoothing method. Exponential smoothing method is a form of weighted moving average. It is that designed that weight decline exponentially and most recent data weigh the most. Uh, it uses a smoothing constant, alpha, 
uh, which ranges from 0 to 1, and the value is chosen by the forecaster. The advantage of exponential smoothing method is that it's much simpler than weighted moving average, keeps minimum data, and produces improved result. And the formula is Ft equals Ft minus 1 plus alpha times Yt minus 1 minus Ft minus 1. Um, so uh, new forecast equals last period's forecast plus the constant alpha and parenthesis uh, last period's actual demand minus Ft minus 1. That's uh, last period's forecast. And that gives you your uh, forecast. Uh, take a look at this example. Uh, given that predicted demand is 142 Ford Mustangs and actual demand is 153, and smoothing constant, uh, uh, smoothing constant alpha is 0.2, we can plug this into the formula and we'll be able to find the new forecast. Uh, you just want to plug them in and uh, what you find is that 142 previous forecasting plus uh, the smoothing constant alpha is 0.2 and parenthesis 153 actual demand minus the forecast demand from the previous period is 142 and that will produce uh, 144.2 so we got about 444 cars uh, you are going to have as your forecast. Exponential smoothing method is fairly straightforward. What is important is to choose the right constant alpha. When do you choose high values of alpha and uh, when do you choose low values of alpha? It, it all depends on sensitivity. If you, as a manager of forecaster, perceive that your forecast is highly dependent on the changes happened in previous period, such as the past month's sales, then you want to choose high values such as 0.9 or 0.8. But if you think that the past change is temporary and it's better to take all the past data into consideration, you want to choose alpha value close to zero, such as 0.1 or 0.05. So the higher the alpha, the more sensitive to the past changes. And this uh, graph illustrates the point. So here's the actual data. There's a, a fluctuation. And here's a, a forecast with alpha 0.5. And the flat one is uh, alpha 0.1 or 2. So we see that uh, uh, the um, higher the alpha is, it tries to catch up or responds to the uh, previous changes more closely. And if it is low, then you know it's going to just smooth everything out and uh, go for average.